Now, economist Larry Summers is warning about the risks of the Biden administration's massive $1.9 trillion stimulus plan. Writing in the Washington Post, he said the spending could set off inflationary pressures that we haven't seen in a generation. Now, that said, he also agrees that the risks of doing too little outweigh the risk of doing too much. Meanwhile, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen took to the Sunday shows in the U.S. to reiterate the need for stimulus. I'm afraid that uh, the job market is stalling. We saw that in Friday's employment report. We're in a deep hole with respect to the job market and a long way to dig out. Well, joining us is Simon Kennedy, our executive editor for Bloomberg Economics. Simon, I mean, there was a huge rift, actually, a sparring between Janet Yellen and Larry Summers about overheating, the possibility of the economy in the U.S. overheating. I mean, where are we on that debate? Well, it's a, certainly a, a hot debate, um, one that Larry Summers, former Treasury Secretary, former Biden advisor, kicked off uh, in recent weeks with commentaries in, uh, in, on Bloomberg and elsewhere. And his, his point is that this is a huge amount of money that we're looking to put into an economy that um, is already starting to grow. But more importantly, doing so creates risk to inflation and financial problems down the road. And also, um, and remember, both Yellen and some of the Democrats also eat into the potential for other um, policy proposals down the road. So they don't disagree that the U.S. actually needs additional help. Is Larry Summers advocating a, a more targeted kind of relief? Yeah, I think it's the quantity of the help and the, uh, the, 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 the how it's directed. And Janet Yellen making the point that she too and has spent her, her pretty much her entire career worrying about inflation. But her argument at the weekend is there are other tools, those that uh, she left behind at the Federal Reserve, uh, to manage inflation. And her bigger concern, uh, echoing what we we're already hearing from her, uh, from the president on down within his administration is that this concern about employment, these holes in the labor market uh, that we saw in that, uh, that report on Friday and beyond, uh, still 10 million or so people out of work compared to uh, a year ago, um, that that's their bigger concern and they'd rather go too big and, uh, and deal with the consequences later than go too small, which is the, uh, the charge against um, uh, Obama's administration was they went uh, potentially too small last time when Larry Summers was involved, and obviously there's politics in, in, in the heart of that as well, though. So, uh, Simon, what does it mean for the Fed? It, I mean, is there a, a danger or a possibility, maybe, let's call it that, that inflation goes above 2 percent quite quickly? I would, I would think that the Fed would be quite happy with inflation above 2 percent at some point. They've been trying to get it up there for quite a long time. Um, the argument being from central bankers is that we know how to handle inflation a lot more than we know how to handle deflation. But uh, Jay Powell at the, uh, the Federal Reserve Chair has been quite clear that he thinks that the government should be providing fiscal support, taking a bit of the, uh, the pressure off them. Uh, and at the same time, there's no sign from within the Fed that uh, at the moment that they're looking to pull back their uh, uh, monetary stimulus. So for the Fed, it's uh, kind of steady as it goes and would welcome a bit of support from the government. What are you looking at, uh, Simon, in terms of signs that actually the economy is picking up? I know in, in all of the interviews on Sunday, Janet Yellen just talked about the labor market, the labor market, and how that's, that seems to be her, her only focus right now. Absolutely. Obviously, that's a key focus. It's one that, uh, that Joe Biden talked about as, uh, since he's come in as president. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty good, ready reckoner of where the administration uh, is worried about the state of the economy. But elsewhere, you are starting to see pickups and uh, inflation data and uh, company um, data. So hopefully the, uh, the economy is picking up steam. And again, given the year we've just had, um, one, a, a too hot to trot economy in 2021 that can be reined in uh, judiciously, it's probably a better option than an uh, economy that's still in trouble. Um, but you've got to remember, there's already that big uh, December fiscal bill that uh, President Trump signed in. That's coming on track. Um, so there's definitely a debate over how much is too much. And uh, the, uh, the Biden administration certainly arguing at the moment that uh, they'd rather be accused of doing too much and then pull back later than doing too little.